drawing the pool table. Example 1. There are two rectangles in the pool table example. The large rectangle has its bottom left corner starting at x0, y0. Its length is 160 and it is 96 tall. These numbers will be the coordinates for the second corner of our rectangle. So we'll choose our rectangle command and at the bottom of the screen when it says pick first corner we'll enter once for x0 and enter again for y0. Now when it says pick second corner the x was 160 and then we'll enter and we'll type in 96 and enter for the y. And that completes the larger rectangle. I'll finish to get out of the rectangle command. The second or smaller rectangle starts at 30 over in the X and 30 up in the Y. Its second corner is 60 more over in the X and 25 and a half more in the Y. So we can choose to draw a rectangle again and this rectangle has an X value of 30 and enter and a Y value of 30 and enter. I'll press the right arrow key on my keyboard to set my cursor so I can add 60 and then enter. I'll do the same for the Y. I'll press my right arrow key so I can add 25.5 and enter which completes our second rectangle. I'll right click or hit the escape to finish the rectangle command. Next we'll draw the circles. We can see that the very center of each circle is on the end of a rectangle or along the middle of an edge. The drawing also shows the radius of the circle. Typical means that unless otherwise noted the other circles will be the same size. So when we draw the circle we will choose the center and radius type of circle since that was the information that was given in the drawing. The first thing we're asked for is the radius of the circle. Type 3 and enter. First I'll draw the circle on the bottom left corner of our pool table. I'll type in the coordinates for this one. The X would be 30, enter, and the Y would be 30, enter. I'm still in the circle command, so I'll either click OK or press Enter to accept a radius of 3. And this time, I'm going to use snaps. I'm going to snap to the end of a line. I can either click on this icon or press the F6 key on my keyboard. I am now asked to pick which end of what line. So I'll click to the right side of the bottom line. I'll OK another circle with a radius of 3. And then again choose to snap to the end of this line. Click OK. Click on End of and then click closer to the one end of the line. The middle circles are also a three inch radius and we need the center of the circle to be on the midpoint of the line that we select. Click on midpoint of or press your F7 key and then click on the line to apply the circle. Again click on OK to accept a radius of 3, we'll apply the center of the circle to the midpoint of the line, which we'll select by clicking on it with our arrow. And as always, we'll finish the command by either right-clicking or pressing the escape key on our keyboard. And now we need to remove a portion of each circle and portions of the rectangle. 
Removing a portion of geometry can be done with the Trim command. Trim can be found under the Edit tab, or as shown, you can type T for Trim. And when you click on Trim, you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, it says to select a cutting geometry. Our first objective is to trim away portions of the circles. Therefore, the rectangle will become our cutting geometry. So as prompted on the command line, select the rectangle as our cutting geometry and then finish. And now we get the prompt to pick what we want to trim. Think about it as click on what you'd like to trim away. And when you're finished picking all the geometry to trim, then finish the trim command by right clicking or pressing the escape key on your keyboard. Now we can trim again, this time selecting different cutting geometries. We need to trim away portions of the rectangle so the arcs will become our cutting geometries. We can select them by picking them or much easier is to window them. And as always, when we're finished selecting, we'll choose Finish. And we're prompted to pick what we'd like to trim away. When you're finished, finish the Trim command. Right-click or press the Escape key on the keyboard. Fill it as a way to place a radius or arc between two existing geometries. As it is shown, we will use a radius of 5. Choose the fillet command and it will bring up a window. We'll type in the fillet radius amount, which was 5. We'll leave pick two elements selected and then we'll click on OK. And as always, we'll follow the prompts on the command line. As I select each liner arc, I am clicking closer to the end that I want to connect. Then the information on the command line changes to select the second one. Again, connecting to the closer side. Select first liner arc, second liner arc. First, second, first. And as always, finished when you've completed the command. And finally, we'll complete the outside border of our pool table. For this, we'll use offset. The distance of 6 inches is shown in our drawing. We'll go choose offset from the edit menu. We'll type 6 into the distance field and then we'll verify that what we want to offset is a singular liner arc. We'll also verify that the offset as geometry box is checked. We can then click OK and follow the prompts on our command line. We can only offset one object at a time, so when it says select, we'll have to pick or click on that object. Since I want this line to become my border, I'm going to click to the outside. Repeat the process as prompted. Select and then pick a side. Only offset one line on each side of our pool table. And finish to complete your command. And now we can apply a radius while connecting the lines that we just offset using fillet. We see the radius of 6 inches in our drawing. This time I'm going to type F on my keyboard to enable fillet. I'll type 6 for the value and then OK to follow the prompts on my command line. This completes 
the pool table drawing. Thank you for choosing Park Industries. Thanks.